know, I really like these fountains, especially here at Forest Lawn Cemeteries. I'm actually here in Cypress. Cypress Forest Lawn. And I'm here to visit the grave of Sandy West, the drummer from the band The Runaways. Uh, the all-female band, which formed in 1975, Sandy West is buried here, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Let's go. Sandy West was born in Long Beach, California. It all started at age nine when her grandfather bought her a drum kit. Being a huge rock and roll fan, she began practicing rock music right away. When she was in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, Sandy became the drummer in her elementary school orchestra. When Sandy was 13 years old, at the time, she was the only female to play in local bands at teenage parties. Sandy eventually got to high school. She attended Edison High School in Huntington Beach, California. And that's where she played drums in school bands. At age 15, she contacted other musicians and people in the industry, hoping to form an all-woman rock band. It was the year 1975, and that's where Sandy met producer Kim Foley. And that's where Kim gave Sandy guitarist Joan Jett's phone number. Now Joan, she was another young artist in the area. Joan and Sandy eventually met and they played in front of Kim. And that's where he decided to help them find other band members to form their all-woman band. There were a few members of the band, but the most notable ones were Sherry Curry, Jackie Fox, and Lita Ford. And that's when at 16 years old, Sandy co-founded the all-woman rock group the Runaways. So who are the Runaways if you don't know? Well, they're the first teenage all-girl hard rock band to succeed in the 1970s. Alright everyone, so without further ado, here is a woman of history, Sandy West, the drummer from the Runaways, the all-teen girl band. Our beloved daughter and sister. So as you can see, she was born July 10th, 1959. She sadly passed October 21st, 2006. So after four years with the band, 1979, that's when they broke up. I'm not quite sure why they broke up. From what I know, they broke up because they uh, had some disagreements. Sandy, she wanted to continue her career as a musician when the band broke up. She played with other bands in SoCal. She even released a solo EP called The Beat Is Back. And she formed the Sandy West Band. Sadly, in 2005, she was diagnosed with lung cancer. She was a heavy smoker. And uh, yeah, that cancer later spread to her brain. It took her life October 21st, 2006. She was only 47 years old. The 2010 film called The Runaways is based on their story and um, Joan Jett dedicated the film to Sandy during the audio commentary in the DVD extras. If you go and listen to it, you can hear it. I even heard that the band wanted a reunion before she passed. Sadly, if there is a reunion ever, it wouldn't be with the original drummer. All right, everyone, here's the woman of history. May she rest in peace. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, give them a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video.